Uh, it's been a few days since I was uh, able to do any real modeling uh, on camera. As you may know, I'm getting ready to move uh, my family to St. John. We bought a house there, and so we've been very busy. But I thought I'd show you where things are at so far. Uh, in a previous video, I modeled these uh, filing cabinets here. And what I've done is I've just brought them in, and I've got a couple of different versions of them with the drawers. And, in different positions and place them in the interrogation room. Uh, made a coffee cup, it's very simple, right? And place that at a couple of places. Talk about the gun in a minute. I made a cork board, there's the plane, you know, inset, extruded back, separated out this piece and gave it a color over here, all right? And a few pieces of paper, I basically took that paper over there and just copied over here a few different sizes and angled it. And I made these little push pins here. All right, so I just did that, gave them a color and, you know, positioned them. They're a little bit big. I wanted them a bit cartoony and visible. So put that in there, move this filing cabinet out a little bit so that that could go back yeah, in the wall. Um, I want to talk about this here. Um, because I'm doing this uh, in uh, the viewport, okay, in this viewport shading, uh, all I did was I uh, created a plane here uh, to sort of make it look like glass. All I did is I've just been adding colors to these, right? So I came over here under the object properties. It shows like a, bl a bluish kind of color. And in here, uh, I just lowered the alpha, just like that, and it looks a little bit like glass. So I'll put that in there. Um, I made some guns. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I came over here and I just added a few material, a few objects here, just a rectangle with a button and like a pipe type thing or a wire coming out. A little bit of a stand here. And this thing is uh, kind of was just a standard. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I might just leave it like this. Uh, and for this, because uh, I can't get images, you know, materials in here if I want to use it in the viewport shading. So what I did is I just brought in, uh, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Okay. I brought in an image and then I traced over this uh, in, in curves. Uh, so if I come in here, Let's see, you see there's quite a lot of points, right? So I used a curved path. Let's do it from here. And I just, I traced it. All right, here, I'll even uh, take this and this, not that one. I'll take this one, we'll hide it. So I, I traced it. I didn't do all of it. I didn't do a great job anyhow. Uh, and I, and uh, as a curve, and then I converted it to a mesh. And then I used uh, shrink wrap to sort of shrink wrap it to the to the plane, so I could so I could get that. And that's and that's what I got so far. Okay. And the guns, um, I just modeled really simply off of uh, an image, and I and I traced them, and I'll I'll probably do a video uh, on that. They're, they're very simple. Um, I think there's a couple of versions, and I put a couple of them here. Maybe they're, yeah, there's a couple of different versions. They're not overly visible that I just built this thing. Yeah, so that's what the scene looks like uh, so far. Um, I should say that I'm thinking about um, doing it in, in the viewport shader and just hiding stuff and just, you know, taking some screenshots. I don't really feel like uh, putting materials on everything. I like this kind of, kind of cartoon look. Um, I would do a couple more things in here and then wrap up uh, this project. Um, in order f to get the lighting, uh, I'm, uh, instead of just in studio uh, like that, uh, I've come over here to a matte cap and I've chosen uh, a matte cap here that I liked uh, and you know they'll all affect you know the lighting. So if I choose this one, I get that lighting, you know, that kind of thing. So you go through and you try to find one that, that you like. And uh, and that's basically it. So that's what I've come up with uh, in this scene. I'll do a little bit more stuff and then I'll uh, wrap this one up 
and move on to the next Blender project. All right, so that was just a little bit of a walkthrough of where I am. Um, like I say, I'm going to be moving to St. John, and so I may or may not get a chance to do another couple of videos before I do that. Uh, for instance, it's Thursday, uh, a little past midnight, so it's like Friday, early, early morning. Uh, I move on Tuesday, so we've got about four days or whatever, and then uh, get set up in the new house, uh, and then uh, get the internet going, and then I'll get back to modeling. So, I'm, you know, I might be looking at about a week away uh, but in the meantime I may do something small uh, over the next couple of days before I completely disconnect here and reconnect in the next place and that is it so I hope you're all doing really really well and thank you so much for coming by here hopefully uh, you can find stuff on the internet that will keep you occupied if you're just learning blender trying other stuff and hope you'll come back and uh, check out my stuff and uh, we'll get things going in the new house Take care.